when you're coming in to play something like this that has such a strong moralistic edge to it, how do you make sure that what you're doing is like fully humanizing a character? You're not sort of leaning too hard on sort of what the overarching mm -hmm. sort of maybe message might mm -hmm. be. I think you do it by not judging the character and by asking yourself at every moment, is this truthful? Is this truthful? You know? And there were moments where I would go to Tyler and I would say, is this truthful? You know, like, would she do this? And sometimes he would be like, look, this is Judith, not Journey, you know? And then sometimes we would be like, you know, all right, well then how can we adjust this? How can we make this more truthful? And um, I don't think, you know, we were, the message is already there. You get the message just by experiencing her arc. But we, we certainly weren't, you know, being like, all right, we gotta stick the message in here and there. Sure, sure. Um, there's a scene in this movie where she sort of succumbs to this temptation. Mm -hmm. um, and it's kind of interesting because I think that people could look at it sort of differently because he says to her, you know, now you can say you resisted. Um, I guess when you're going through a scene like that, you know, how difficult is it to find the, the truth of a moment like that? Because, like, it can really be looked at in a sort of, like, like a negative way of, like, you know, like, sort of a woman sort of asking for it or something like that. I mean, mm -hmm. how careful a line do you have to walk, at least in that specific scene? You do have to walk a careful line. Um, and I think um, with a scene like that, you know, it's a very complex scene. Because it is, you know, a scene where she did want it to happen, but then she kind of fights it, but she doesn't really, she, she's, she is attracted to him, and she's attracted to the attention, and it's so, you, ha you have to just ask yourself, how do, you know, how do we make this truthful? And between Robbie and Tyler and myself, we just, we tried to make it as truthful as possible. Mm -hmm. Well, it's interesting that, Tyler's movie Good Deeds does talk very much about the idea that you can sort of be love two people and respect them equally. This movie very much says sort of the opposite of that. Um, what sort of to you was sort of the message of this? I mean, is it is it as um, like sort of black and white as as sort of like once you transgress that you will you know that you will reap what you sow or, or sort of what do you see as as maybe audiences maybe taking away from something like um, this? Honestly, for me, it, what I took away. Um, and what I hope audiences take away is the idea of choices, you know. Choices and, and thoughts in your life, those thoughts can lead to certain choices and choices can lead to actions and behavior. And next thing you know, you're someone you never thought you could become. And um, one thing that resonated with me a lot was in the marriage between Judith and Bryce, you know, Bryce really took Judith for granted and he really neglected her. He got comfortable. I mean, they became practically roommates. You know, and that's the kind of stuff that, you know, when you show that in film, I think it creates a dialogue in marriages, in, in relationships. Um, I think people will walk away from this, you know, discussing all of the different things that happened in the film. And that's, you know, what you, what you hoped to achieve. Absolutely, absolutely.